Hello everyone. Today we will find mode of group data. So in this example here is the class interval column and this is the frequency column. So friends mode is that observation which has the maximum frequency. So let's first find that maximum frequency from this frequency column. So as you can see here 14 is the highest number friends. So that is the maximum frequency and it lies in this class interval 130 to 135. That means our mode value will also lie in the same class interval. So let's just highlight this class interval over here and friends this is called the modal class. What is it called? The modal class because it will surely contain the mode value. Now the formula to calculate the actual mode value is L plus F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 whole times H. Now friends we can easily find all these values now that we know what is the modal class. So L is the lower limit of the modal class. So here is the modal class friends 130 to 135. So the lower limit is 130 that means my L value will be 130. Now F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. So preceding means coming before. So this is the modal class. So which is the class that comes before the modal class? Yes, this is the class and the frequency of this class is 7. So F0 will be 7. So friends, I hope you understood this. F1 is the frequency of the modal class. So this is my modal class whose frequency is 14. So F1 will be 14 over here. Now F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. So succeeding means coming after. So if this is the modal class, the class that comes after the modal class is this class friends. And the frequency of this class is 10. That means F2 will be 10. Now H is the class size which is very easy to find. Just take any class class interval upper limit minus the lower limit say here 150 minus 145 and that will give you the class size which is 5. So friends just take care while finding the values of the frequencies. F0 will be the frequency of the preceding class, F1 will be the frequency of the modal class and F2 will be the frequency of the succeeding class. So don't get confused friends. Now let's put in all the values in this equation and we will get L as 130 plus F1 minus F0 will be 14 minus 7. Let's put the bracket. 2 times F1 will be 2 into 14 minus F0 is 7 minus F2 is 10 all multiplied by H which is 5. So let's quickly solve this friends. We'll get 130 plus Keep the brackets as it is 7. 28 minus 7 will be 21. 21 minus 10 will be 11 times 5. So friends this will be nothing but 130 plus 35 by 11 and 35 by 11 will be nothing but 3.182. So 133.182 and that is the value of mode friends. I hope you understood this friends. Now friends in this case the modal class was in between two class intervals and this is case one but we can have a case where the modal class is the first or the last class. So let's quickly go through those cases also. So let's now consider the case where the modal class is the last class. So as you can see here 12 is the maximum frequency value. So that means my mode value will also lie here. So let's just highlight it and this will be our modal class. So let's write it over here. So now let's find out the different values friends. L is the lower limit of the modal class. So this is my modal class and 50 will be the lower limit. So L will be 50. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. So this is my modal class. So the class preceding it will be this class friends and its frequency is 1. So F0 will be 1. Now F1 is the frequency of the modal class itself which is 12. So I'll write it over here. And F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. Now as you can see friends this is the modal class but there is no other class after this modal class. So what should we take as the the value of F2. So in such a case friends you should take F2 as 0 because there is no class after it which means the frequency of that class has to be 0. Now coming to the class size. So just take any class interval. Let me take 50 minus 40 
I will get the answer is 10. So H is 10 friends. Now you just need to follow the same procedure putting in all the values in this formula. So friends I have already done that and I got the mode value as 54.783. Now let's come to the last case friends. Here again let's first find the frequency which is maximum. As you can see 15 is the highest value. So that is the maximum frequency which means this is going to be my modal class. So let's Let's highlight it over here. So friends as you can see the modal class is the first class. So now let's put in all the values. L is the lower limit of the modal class. So here the lower limit is 60. So I'll write 60 over here. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. Now friends since modal class here is the first class there is no class preceding it. So what should you take the value of F0? So here also friends you should take F0 as 0 because there is no class interval so its frequency should also be 0. So F0 should be 0 friends. I hope you understood this. F1 will be frequency of the modal class which is 15 over here. F2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class. So this is the class that succeeds the modal class and its frequency is 9. So I'll put 9 over here. The class size over here friends let me take it as 68 minus 66 I'll get 2. So again putting in the values friends do the calculations and I've already done it and I got the value of mode as 61.429. So friends if you found the video useful do like and share the video and consider subscribing to enjoy math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again take care.